We're going to cover this problem on rocket optimization. Uh, for those who got the email for this challenge problem, we're going to be covering uh, this open source, uh, this, this problem from open source software for nonlinear constrained optimization of dynamic systems. Uh, Rune Bruce uh, was uh, kind enough to provide this example case. So this is an optimal rocket time problem. And the problem is to minimize um, what we're going to do is we're going to minimize the travel time of a rocket in such a way that the rocket has a velocity of zero at the final destination. Okay, so I go ahead and draw a rocket here, and uh, we have to get it up to a certain elevation, and we want to have uh, a zero velocity. So it has some forward thrust, okay, uh, f thrust down, and then we'll have some reverse thrust as well. It needs to get up to a certain elevation, uh, and uh, uh, also a, a zero velocity at the very end. Okay, so he forces constraints on the positive and negative acceleration of the rocket together with a maximum velocity. Okay, so a maximum speed that you'd like to reach. And also we want to consider fuel use. Okay, so all else being equal, minimize fuel use. We have parameters. Um, so there's really no uh, parallel to a real case. It's a very simplified problem, but it's a good one for dynamic optimization uh, benchmarks. Okay, so we have uh, this problem statement right here. In here, we have S is the position, the velocity is V, force is U, and the mass is M. And we have this statement here, so let me just go ahead and break down this, this mathematical statement. We want to minimize um, time final, and we put this TF right underneath here. That means we're adjusting time final. Okay, so that's the one that we can adjust to minimize our objective function but we're also subject to, okay, ST sense we're subject to, uh, these differential uh, constraints. So D S D T equals S dot T. Okay, so that's equivalent there. Um, that's just the derivative of that uh, position. Okay, and that equals velocity. And then we have the velocity. Okay, so we have a drag term right here. Uh, is uh, and then also our force. So if we are uh, force in the positive direction, we're going to be moving in the positive direction, but this is going to oppose us. Okay, so that's a drag force. And then we have also the mass here. So it's mass times acceleration equals the force up minus a drag force. Okay, so that's the second equation. And then we also have some mass loss as we um, you know, use this thrust, uh, we're going to have a, a reduction in fuel of our aircraft, and so we're going to be going down in mass. So that's the third equation right there. So we have some initial conditions. T0 refers to our initial condition uh, at, at time 0. Um, so our position is initially uh, is 0 and our velocity is going to be zero as well, and this is our mass. Okay, so we start at a mass of one. And then we have some constraints. So these are constraints that need to be enforced at any time. Okay, so not just at the final or initial point, but any time in the horizon, we need to have velocity between zero and 1.7, and our thrust can only be between negative 1.1 and 1.1. Okay, so there's our uh, some of our constraints. And then we also have some final time constraints as well. So whatever TF is right here, um, we need to be at a position of 10. Okay, at 10, and then a velocity, so we need to be uh, stationary. Okay, at the very end. Okay, so um, there is our, uh, our model. What we're going to do is go ahead and... Um, let me go ahead and just resize this a little bit, okay? And just so we can keep this in our uh, view as we write write out this uh, this optimization problem, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just um, create an APM. Okay, so this is an AP monitor uh, application, and what I'll do is first of all I'll go ahead and define some parameters. Like final time, we're going to define our final time of one. That's our initial guess, okay? And then we're going to let the optimizer adjust that. We're going to just put some constraints there just to give some re a reasonable time range. Okay, next is we want to find the force. Okay, this is our thrust be between negative 1.1 and 1. Okay, and then we have some variables like position is going to start off at 0 
and velocity will start at zero and mass will start at one. Let's go ahead and add some constraints to this. Um, our velocity has to be between zero and 1.7. Our mass, I'll just say greater than 0 0.2. Again, I just don't want it to go below zero, okay? Uh, you could lower that if it hits that constraint. Okay, equations, I wanna minimize the final time. Uh, I have my first equation, my first differential equation, and I have the, uh, the, the dollar sign S, okay? So in APM, that's what uh, this is right here, dollar sign S. And then I have this TF times V. So what I've done is I've just scaled uh, this equation. I'm gonna define my time interval between zero and one, but effectively I'm just multiplying this by TF. And the way I do that is just go ahead and multiply the right-hand side of the equation by TF, or you could derive, divide all of your differential terms by TF as well. Okay, so that would be like you're scaling the problem. You initially define it as between zero and one, but then we're gonna go ahead and scale it um, to whatever time final is. Okay, and then uh, the next one is, um, you know, the second equation. I went ahead and moved the, uh, the mass variable onto this side right there, and then uh, if I come back here, I define my mass as well. And then I have some uh, in the connection section, this is where I can normally connect up uh, different variables. I'm actually going to specify that the very end, um, the very end point is going to be fixed uh, for the position, and the P stands for you know what polynomial segment, and N is the node in that segment. So I want to have the very end uh, step uh, and the very end point in that step, and I want that S to be. Uh, fixed. Okay, and then also velocity is going to be fixed. You could also say calculated. By default, it's calculated. And then I want to specify also the value of 10 and the value of 0. Okay, so there is our model file. Now the next thing to come up with is a data file. These are going to be all the points that we want. Um, I'm just going to start off with a very small time step and then go by uh, 0 0.01 increments. Okay, and then I'll go up to um, all the way up to one. Okay, when you ask you to save in that format, this is gonna be a CSV format, just click yes. Okay, and then you can click don't save uh, when you close it. Okay, so I've got my model file and my data file. Now I wanna just come up with my Python script or MATLAB script that'll run this. The MATLAB syntax will be very similar. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and specify a server and application name, and then import the APM package. You can get that on GitHub under the AP Monitor a package on GitHub uh, or download it from apmonitor.com. Okay, first of all, clear any previous application by that name on the server. Uh, load my model file, load the data file. Okay, I named those both rocket.apm and rocket.csv. Um, these are the number of nodes or um, individual points per step. So more nodes, okay, between two and six. Uh, more nodes can be more accurate, but it's gonna take a little longer to solve. Okay, the solver that I'm going to use is the IPOP solver. That's uh, option three. If you want to use the APOP solver, an active set solver, that'd be one. iMode six, that's dynamic uh, control. Uh, there's a discussion of all these options on the uh, AP Monitor documentation site. And then we have max iterations. MV type uh, zero would be a, a zero order hold. One would be a first order hold. Okay, so I'm just going to put a zero order hold there. Uh, diagnostic level, I have that set to zero, but you could turn that up to higher levels uh, to see more output uh, from the solution. Okay, I have uh, TF, I have that specified as an FV, a fixed value over the whole horizon that's gonna then be calculated. Okay, so I turn its status on uh, with an option there. So that means that um, I'm not gonna, TF isn't gonna vary at every point, but it's only gonna have one value over the whole horizon. Okay, then I also have a manipulated variable. Now this one can change. This is our thrust, but it can change at every time point over the horizon. So you have an FV, one value over the whole horizon, MV, multiple values over the whole horizon, but those are gonna be our degrees of freedom that the optimizer can use to try to minimize this um, objective function. I also put a small delta cost in there, uh, just so it doesn't do uh, movements on that thrust unless it's needed, so that avoids some chatter. Um, and then I have solve, and then I'll print the output. 
Okay, and then uh, retrieve the solution. Now the next part of this is just displaying solution. So I'm just going to go through this kind of rapidly. I'm going to grab TF and then print the optimal solution. I'm just going to plot this. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly um, and you'll have this available for download uh, later. Okay, so there is um, there is our model. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and run it. Uh, go ahead and open up the rocket.py file with IDLE editor and then go ahead and run this and um, so it's going to connect to the server, solve this optimization problem and then return a solution. It took about two seconds to solve it and then it's going to pop up with a plot here. Okay so here is my uh, position. You can see that uh, it's going from 0 up to 10 and then my velocity as well. I went up to a maximum of 1.7 right here on the blue one and then at the end it decreased the velocity as the thrust went uh, back down. Okay and uh, there you can see the mass as well. You know the uh, you're burning uh, your fuel, you're thrusting and uh, at the end you kind of put on the brakes uh, and to put on the brakes you also use um, quite a bit of mass there. Okay so here's the um, Here's the optimal solution to that um, to that problem. Okay, so if you'd like to download the files for this, I'll go ahead and post them to the uh, Dynamic Optimization website. Um, just go to apmonitor.com/do, and I'll paste it. Uh, post these files here under the Rocket Optimization problem.